Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mayor's Monday message for uh, September 27th, 2021. Well, the time is here to cut the mop. It's time to harvest the crop. So uh, I've finally, took a little while, but we've raised the $10,000 for the St. Baldrick's Foundation for uh, Children's Cancer Research. And also uh, I've connected with an organization that is going to take my hair and make a wig out of it uh, for uh, some folks that uh, have, have lost their hair due to uh, chemotherapy. Uh, so I'm very, very excited about that. I'm excited for a fresh cut and I need your help now. I did all the other stuff, all the other stuff, got all the work done, or I should say my team did all that work. Uh, thank you to everybody that helped me uh, pull that money together. And uh, now it's your turn. So if you are a licensed barber or stylist that has a business in the city of York and you would like to cut my hair, get a little extra publicity, get a tip, uh, and uh, come on out, or I guess, I guess I'll pay for it too. I'll pay for the cut. I'll pay for the cut and give a tip. Uh, but... Uh, please uh, go ahead and put your information in. We're going to have a raffle. So I'm going to do a few more posts before we do this. So this won't be the only one. But uh, yeah, please go ahead and put your contact information, your business information. Let everybody know all about your uh, business in the comments below. And uh, we'll be taking all those down and, uh, and having a raffle. And somebody will get to cut the mayor's hair. And also, uh, more importantly... Uh, participate in, in assisting kids with cancer and adults with cancer uh, through this effort. So appreciate everybody, uh, and I look forward to, uh, to folks putting out their contact information. Uh, COVID's still going strong. Please, uh, if you are so inclined, and I would certainly encourage, uh, if you haven't gotten your vaccine yet, Family First Health every Tuesday and Thursday, right across the street at 116 uh, South George Street, is providing vaccines for free. And you can get that by going to mywellspan.org or calling 717-812-4495. The money that we are uh, looking to get into the community is uh, soon available, but you have to apply. That's the American Rescue Plan Fund money. The applications are available, but you must go through a little bit of training before you get the application because it requires a lot of federal uh, reporting. The city has to report. So we, know, we have to know that you can do the reporting. And uh, so Wednesday night, September 29th, is going to be our second meeting to help tell people about these grants and to help uh, get them trained uh, so to, do the, to fill out the application and do the reporting. So please join us at 6 o'clock on Wednesday evening. You don't have to come in. You can join us on Facebook. And uh, the videos are available. And throughout the video, there are passwords that you have to have so that we know that you did the training. And you can uh, go through and, and listen to the, to the uh, or watch and listen to the video at your own convenience. So those uh, grant applications, we are going to be accepting until October 22nd. We have the uh, Home Upgrades for Seniors grant program that is out there right now. So qualified seniors 62 and older can receive up to $7,500 for home repairs. And uh, you need to contact Kim Walston with the Housing Division of the York County Planning Commission to, uh, to participate in that program. That's 717, well, it's in the, it's in the post, but 717-771 one or nine eight seven oh let me try that again seven one seven 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 one nine eight seven oh extension one seven five zero just check it out it's in the link we also have uh the uh, small business covid 19 grants open right now and they're only open till the end of this week so we need you to apply now i know we've gotten a lot of applications but i don't want anybody to miss out on applying uh, those that we don't give to that do have successful applications, we may have another round coming up. So uh, let's uh, everybody get your applications in by September 30th. And you can do that by just going on to our yorkcity.org website. If you have any problems with that, you can contact Sheree McFadden. Uh, that's S. McFadden, M-C-F-A-D-D-E-N, at yorkcity.org. 
Also, uh, the York County Economic Alliance just announced the Bloom Small Business Development Program. And uh, they will be uh, having classes that will launch October 7th and continue until November 11th. And this is going to be on Zoom. And it's for uh, future and existing business owners. They've had great classes uh, working in conjunction with Crispus Attics and getting information and getting, getting people really the knowledge they need to uh, run a successful business. And you can register there. Um, I would check out the YCEAPA.org site, and uh, you can see how you can apply for those. That's a combination of Christmas Addicts, the York NAACP, Susquehanna Score, Shippensburg uh, SBDC, and of course the York County Economic Alliance. Also, if you're looking to get a job, uh, the York Hiring Fair is going on, the uh, York County Economic Alliance, that's tomorrow. 10 to 2 at People's Bank Park at the baseball at Rebs Stadium. There will be over 40 employers there. So uh, tomorrow, if you're looking to get a job, 10 to 2. Uh, the Job Club is still working with everybody and getting people jobs as we speak. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can contact Harry O, uh, Harry Cologne, uh, at 717-848-1808. Beginning of another month already, it's hard to believe, but First Fridays, after African American First Friday, five to nine at Penn Park. The downtown First Friday is fi also five to nine throughout the uh, downtown area. Couple amazing events on Saturday. Hopefully, I'm trying to figure out how to participate in both of these, but they kind of overlap. Uh, the second annual Kick for a Cure Breast Cancer Awareness Kickball Game. So D Will is is D Will Enterprises is back again raising funds for breast cancer. Thank you, D Will, uh, and uh, that is one to five o'clock at Albemarle Park this Saturday. Then also a very exciting thing: the uh, first Capital Fife and Drum muster. So the units that go along with the Revolutionary War soldiers, or you see them in our parades sometimes. Uh, Central York's Fife and Drum. Uh, Fife and Drum organization is 50 years old. So 50 years old for the Fife and Drums, and uh, that they're going to have a parade from, um, and they're having a whole event. So Fife and Drum organizations from across the country are coming to York on Saturday, and there will be a parade uh, from the Colonial Courthouse down to Smallsfield, I think. Uh, and uh, um, so keep an eye out for that. And, uh, or it might be to the Rev Stadium, but, but I know it's, you know, it's to People's Park. Yep. Uh, so that's going to be a great event. So if you're interested in history or supporting the uh, central band, Fife and Drum Corps, uh, come on out Saturday. We're starting at the Colonial Courthouse on Market Street. And also, unfortunately, because of COVID, we did not get to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the York High Marching Band. We'll celebrate next time, uh, but uh, as you may have heard, the Friday night's game got canceled because of COVID with the other team, and so we were not able to come and uh, celebrate the 100th anniversary, but we will be celebrating, I guarantee. And uh, we've got a proclamation coming, and uh, uh, as soon as we can, we will get together and celebrate 100 years of the York High Marching Band. So a bunch of things to uh, celebrate and activities this week. Again, barbers, stylists, I'm, I'm ready for a cut and a shave. I'm gonna be back to where I was in May, 9, May of 2019 was the last time I cut my hair. So I'm ready to get this going and do some good work in the community and uh, uh, with, with the hair and the money and uh, get back to a, a much easier morning preparation. Uh, not having to worry about this 10, 12 inches of hair that I've got on my head now. Uh, so please sign up in the comments below and uh, have a great week and I'll see you around the city.